This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. In May of 2025, astronomers spotted a faint moving speck that turned out to be 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object in our solar system. Uh, it was discovered using their uh, telescope at Rio Hurtado in Chile, and it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. We collected a good amount of data, more than 100 observations. We know its trajectory fairly well. We know it came from outside the solar system. Right now, it's inside uh, the orbit of Jupiter, and it's headed for its closest pass to the Sun at the end of October. Like Oumuamua and Borisov before it, it had traveled for millions of years through interstellar space before crossing our path. Ever since, scientists have debated the true nature of these mysterious visitors. Are they comets flung out of alien systems? Are they chunks of failed planets drifting forever between the stars? Some, like Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, have pushed the debate even further. Loeb argued that objects such as Oumuamua might not be natural at all, but artificial, perhaps probes or reconnaissance missions sent by another civilization. He feels similarly about 3I Atlas as its path lies very close to the orbital plane of the planets, and the object will pass relatively near Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Loeb sees those facts as unlikely coincidences, or possibly hints that it could be a disguised spacecraft using a finely tuned trajectory. He calculates that the probability of 3I Atlas arriving with that particular alignment purely by chance is about 0.005%. He also points out that its time of perihelion will occur when it is obscured from Earth's view, which he suggests could be intentional, to avoid detailed observation from Earth-based telescopes. When uh, we obtained the best image of it, it looked as if there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun, instead of the typical tail that we see behind comets away from the sun. And that uh, glow uh, was cigar-shaped. It was 10 times longer than white. Uh, it's just not clear what this object is. There is a cloud of gas around it that is mostly carbon dioxide, and there is nickel without iron in it. And the only way that nickel is produced without iron is in the industry when uh, we make nickel alloys. So it raises the question of whether this is a typical comet, a natural object, or maybe something technological. NASA, however, has dismissed the idea of alien spacecraft, arguing the evidence fits natural explanations. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet. Meanwhile, some scientists aren't asking what 3I Atlas is, but what its purpose might be. Astrophysicist Suzanne Falsner's idea is simple but striking. 3I Atlas may be a planet-making seed. But before that, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. With their AI back design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system called Fluid Engine lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag and drop technology. Squarespace also has built in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Astrophysicist Suzanne Falsner's idea is simple but striking. 3I Atlas may be a planet-making seed, but how can a wandering rock from another star system spark the birth of an entire planet? Let's take a tour. We enter a young solar system where a new star sits at the center of a great dusty ring. Here, tiny grains of rock swirl like smoke, clumping together into pebbles. With time, they snowball into boulders and then into planetesimals, the raw ingredients of planets. Given enough time, these grow massive enough to gather even more material. It sounds straightforward, but as we'll see, there's a serious problem with this picture. Disks only last a few million years before the gas is blown away. That window seems too short to explain how massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn were able to form. 
Now imagine a different scenario. Into this disk falls an interstellar object, a body already big enough to serve as a ready-made core. Instead of starting from dust grains, the disk suddenly has a solid seed that can immediately start pulling in surrounding gas and material. In this way, an alien traveler could speed up the birth of a new planet. Falsner's simulations support this idea. She found that massive stars are better at capturing interstellar objects than smaller ones. And sure enough, gas giants are more common around bigger stars. The match between theory and observation is striking. If this is true, then interstellar objects like Oumuamua, Borisov, and Atlas aren't just drifters. They may be the sparks that ignite planetary systems. Some might have seeded gas giants in faraway systems. Others may even have played a role in our own solar system's early history. It's a bold idea and still unproven, just like Loeb's. Interstellar objects are notoriously difficult to study. They appear suddenly, move quickly, and vanish into the dark. But this time we're ahead of the curve as we have detected it well in advance, and our technology may finally let us uncover its true nature, rather than just guessing after it's gone. ESA is preparing Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to observe 3I Atlas as it passes near Mars in October 2025. These spacecraft aim to capture images and data we've never had before of an interstellar object. Whether from orbit around Mars or from telescopes back on Earth, the coming months are set to provide a rare opportunity to track an interstellar object in detail. Astronomers have pinned several key milestones to their calendars, landmarks to watch as this visitor races through our cosmic neighborhood. October 3rd, 2025, Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Vals Marineris, the comet will plunge past the red planet a mere 18 million miles away. From orbit, Maven and Tianwen-1 will see its dusty coma start to glow faintly pink in the Martian dawn. October 29, 2025, Perihelion. Four weeks later, 3I Atlas will sling behind the sun, skimming to 1.36 astronomical units, which is about 130 million miles from the photosphere. Here, its speed peaks near 152,000 miles per hour. At this point, the comet is lost to Earth-based telescopes, hidden by solar glare, but spacecraft on Mars and at L1 will keep a watch as jets of vapor erupt from the freshly warmed crust. December 19, 2025, Earth Distance Check. With its tail now fully unfurled, 3I Atlas will pass Earth at a comfortable 170 million miles, too far for a naked eye view, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Rubin Observatory to rake its coma for isotopic clues. March 16, 2026, Jupiter Pass. Finally, the visitor will fly past Jupiter, 33 million miles above the gas giant's clouds. If NASA approves a late course tweak, the Juno spacecraft could swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, providing our sole up close look at material that formed beyond the sun. After that, 3I Atlas will curve back into interstellar space, leaving behind terabytes of data and a lot of questions. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a channel member to support our work. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.